you know. There's there's me there's my girl. Uh him. Her. And him, you bastard. I know what you did last time, you freaking bastard. Shit, what what was Huntress's? She wanna do volleyball. And we you finish your game. Yeah, I lo love the play. I love yeah, yeah, I love the play outdoors. I I also love to meet new people. I also love to bring them home and play. I'm sort of a big kid in heart. Obviously, you are too. I like you already. I hate people who are so too serious. They ruin everything. Well, well, then they do if, if they handle them ha don't handle them swiftly. Hold on, just for a moment. I th okay, so we all right. So this is exactly the same. Wait, no. All right. So this is exactly the same. Oh, the volleyball. Wow, you! I'm so excited to have. Someone else into athletics on the island. Spirit and Rafe are so boring, and Trevor is so pretentious, relying on brutal strength to win the games. He has no respect at all, grace and skill. Thank good, thank goodness you didn't choose the yacht. What kind of person will want to sit on a sitting duck in the middle of open ocean? You're just asking for the sneak attack. From an elk. Wonder how long it would take for her to bring the elk, bring up the elk attack. Games straight, straight starting up again. Make sure you watching watching close. She really is something, huh? Elks don't swim. Living in the forest long enough, and you'll see elks swim. Believe believe you me. She, she for me, cute stuff. She's so nice. She's so cute. She actually kind of cute. She's really cute. The the killers res resumed their game of volleyball court and resumed their match while you, they they were playing before you arrived. Hey, fancy lemonade! I see, I see you worked up a thirst. Eyes of those bouncing buns playing a volleyball. Colored hands, you are lemonade. Oh, so fresh, so tar. She leans in and whispers in her ear. Who would you be? Bet? Who would you bet to win? Mm -hmm. Who's your MVP? Who of your heart? You know you are nervous. You don't want any of the killers to hear you talk about them. So you talk about if that, that, that sort of thing. Just pick someone, please. It's not like we're going got all day, night, weeks, months, years, lifetime, eternity, or anything. Who would, who, who put sand in in this guy's shorts? Jeez. Okay, I think um. Huntress. Oh shoot, Huntress overheard. Ah, you got your eye on me. I'm flattered that you think I'm good. At, to be honest. I'm a, I'm a little annoyed that I've been so flashy with my moves. Usually I'm so sneaky that you can barely see me at all. Andres is totally kicking my butt. Cor correct answer. I'm allowed to support the other people on the island, right? Oh jeez, I have no idea what the rules are here. Are there, are there even rules? Um, Should I stay in... My, in my secret la Larry I mean Larry secret Larry well what a game it's a tie I can e there ever be a tie in volleyball no no one since it's everyone's first time playing these killers don't usually have the time to for team sports 
aim their busy schedule of brutally tearing survivors to shreds. Hey, is Claudette crying? Are you okay, Claudette? Probably just sh shedding a tear for her lost fellow survivors. You know this resort has four employees when, when it opened. It's nothing, I'm totally fine. Whenever you say, boss, oh yeah, the killers have the spare, this, this, blah, words, uh, and are all cooled down in their own way. Spirit reads a novel, Trapper stretches sensibly between chainsaw and chainsaw curls. Rafe is standing on the beat, desperately hoping that a sand, the sand will swallow him up. Andrew is doing some target practice with her bl blood to attach it. You feel a nudge. Dwight is looking at you uh, expectantly. Should you should really make a move. Life is short. You could get snuff, snuffed out, and out, out any day, time any day. Crap, dear crab, carp down. Go ahead, chat to one of the chat one of them up. So which killer would you has you got your eye on? You head over to Hunter's after all, this whole sport, sporty hangout thing was her idea. Might as well see how she's doing. How you were great out there. You were you learn where do you learn all those moves like that? Those moves, my moves, these moves, no, they're nothing. Hunter's blushes a bit from. A breath of her mask is a cute on cute. If you ask me something, you gotta look past some bloodstains. A lot of men ha have run from their lives in my pursuit. But for, for presence, you really learn a lot about what a human body is capable of in those types of scenarios. I love to exercise in a way we're all running of running for our lives when we keep in shape I guess I've never thought of fitness that way maybe it's time to start you never know who is coming for you through the bushes as fast as they can probably towards my hunger probably towards my hunger despair or just pain of old boredom doesn't seem like boredom is going to be the problem surrounding by all these characters so survival on the other hand you're going to need to com comprehend the lack of killer instinct what's your style imagination mm. no imagination I think a lack of fitness just try I try to make more of imagination I like it. I, I like to make up a little game for my, myself to play. My imagining is very vivid. I can imagine the two of us panting and swe sweating, all our clothes torn. I'm with you. Our hands gripping the sh sheer face of a cl of a cliff rock wall as we climb. Not exactly where I was going, going, but sure. Up the cavern entrance, to a dark cave, slicked with dew, shimmering in moonlight. I'm back with you. And a pack of wolves awaits us. Friend, enemies, dinner. We look into each other's eyes, then back at the wolves, and together we howl. Whoa! It sure sounds exciting. My my blood is pumping just thinking about it. Come on, everyone. The fun, the fun and the games can't be over already. I get it, I get it. Volleyball's not ruthless enough. Looks, Look at us. We're craving action. We're craving excitement. We crave the thrill of the hunt. It's time to see if our friend here has the hunter's instinct. I saw you surve surveying me like prey on the volleyball court bearable. I just waved her bloody axe in the air, and you stepped back nervously before you realize she's not waving at you. She's handing it to you. 
don't worry, I've got several of these. It's important to, to hone your skills, especially when you, you're you new in a place where threats may lurk around every corner. You need to make sure that you are a, the biggest threat of them all. Just don't aim those things at me. <laughs> you can't even see me. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's the it's a mini game. Okay. Alright, let's go. Alright, ready? And away we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Per perfect. Ah, damn, missed. I'm impressed. A worthy opponent. I mean, you could have been better, but but who keeps score is keep scoring? For the record, I am at the. I am, and I got you got eight points. Hatchet throwing is cool, I guess. I I I'll like the st the step to be a bit more close and personal. Somewhere a loud horn blows and the survivors snap into action. Time's up. You heard me. You heard him. Get to the next activity. You woke up and find hundreds holding your limb body. Gingerly pouring cool water into your your mouth. Oh, good, good. You're okay. Something. Sometimes when I try to care for people, they have a way of ending up less l alive than when I I started. Which would be a bummer if that happened to you. It's been so long since I had a normal, happy, healthy, living person around. I, I usually just fall into the same old routine, smash everyone's heads open with a hatchet before I really get to know who they are, are as a person. But you're, you're not nearly as scary to, or too busy with them with pain to see me for me. You feel nervous at her arms, not just beca because they are... They may maybe crush you a little bit, but she's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. But I I was just gonna narrate the fact. No, yeah, no. It's out loud a single word like some creep. Beautiful mask. I like bunny mask. It's quite gorgeous. Nice recovery, but how? That's your awkward awake and talking. You gotta keep this up. Did you make the? Did you make it yourself? You're the first person to ever ask me that. Yes, I did. You, you seem to so qu quirky and cool. You could do anything, own an estate, an Etsy store. Be a doctor. Why is it that you kill people? Huntress sighs. You can practically see the memory flicking across her eyes, but she hasn't tried to kill you yet, so that's a good sign. It, it's all. It's all I was ever taught to do as a young girl, so I thought it was right. Even though the mask you can see. See that Hunter is blushing a bit. It seems like your lines of questioning are making her a little nervous. Hey, you didn't eat much dinner. Want a snack? She offers you some jerky, probably human. And but their spice, spicy game is a point because it smells pretty damn good. I'm gonna say accept because I don't. I don't. I want to impress her. When on, when on Middle Island, you might as well eat as a as a killer do. Plus, you really are hungry, and you can chomp down on jerky senselessly, right? I'd love some. 
after a moment, it's quite true, true on it. Or you choose, it, uh, choose an unbelieving, not a human thigh meat. You decide to hop, to boldly ask another question. Are you? Have you ever been in a relationship before? Done. You're really going there. You don't play around, bearable. Uh, um. Andres takes a moment to think deeply for answering. I must say it's quite uh, amusing to see this Hulk and b bombshell get all twisted up with these personal questions. Kudos to you, bearable. There was one deer that looked l at me quite provocatively and it cl it, it, in the clearing once, but that doesn't count, does it? You hear a, a fainted giggle bubbling out from behind the Huntress mask. Hi, uh, you're quite cute, Huntress. No, it doesn't count. Well, that that's it. You found something in the sand. Huntress reaches down and picks it up. It's a hair clip, probably left from some little girl who played on the beach a long ago, who is definitely still alive and not dead at all. Huntress closes... Andres close, closes the bag of jerky with, a, with the hair clip. Seems like she's a little mixed, mixed up how and how exactly this particular item works. Should we go with the flow and show off some of your knowledge to advance human, humaning? Hmm... I don't want to. I want to be too forward. I don't think. S you silly goose! You chuckle before reaching the, the bag of jerky. You take the you take the bracelet off the collection of locked huntress here and clip it in the back into a tracker swoop. Much better. Huntress is, is so happy that you taught her something new about human trinkets. She touched the clip in her hair with a shy smile. Just as just as things are really heating up, you hear a flutter of footsteps behind you. You quickly spin around, ready to fend off whatever new dangers are, pooping, are popping out on a strange island. Uh, st okay, so... Back to the normal schedule. So, so go, now we're going back to the normal schedule. Okay, so. Alright. So this is this is the same as last time. So we picked a we pick a story. So. These these sort of things are, are crucial, hunters. I choose hunters. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is entire. This entire entire experience has been careful, crafty, to avoid IP infringement lawsuits. Let's be careful, which this which the catchphrase will yeah. There is a village outside a deep and ominous red woods. No child dared to step foot past the threshold of thick tr trees and bushes. Bush. And that separates safely from the unknown. Growing men that ventured in often would never return, and the sound of the echoes out into the village were something unhuman. The woman of the town told a story of a young child hoping that it would be enough to, to I don't know, to soothe them from curious ex. ex Exploring beyond the boundary of the village, they took. They told of a creature that lurked in the woods. Half woman, half beast, singing like a siren, taunting, ta ha haunting, beautiful. Her voice is. Has relic her humanity, and lured all who. Here into her domain and. Not precious child, nor fiends. Bear soldiers can escape once you are 
in the, her clutches. Those who seen her say she wears a mask on her stain, stained with blood. Of the many souls they catch, it she wields be between bro, brought down brutally on the skull and me, and unexpected hunting hunto. The nightmare doesn't end there, for what a hunger beast to do. And the fridge winter, winter will nothing but hunt meat to live off of. It's, it is said that the huntress, as the village calls her, couldn't bring herself to kill the young girls. She came across it in the forest. Instead, she suffered an even worse fate. Longing the for a child of her own she brings them back to her exclusive cabin to keep her safe she wrapped the, the she wrapped a, a tight cord around of rope around her neck and affect them to the wall affix them to the wall that way they'll be warm and that way they'll be out of harm's way the hunters would even bring the girl presents to toys that she provided from the other bodies mask she fashioned out of things from the cottage little dolls made from grass and twigs but these toys did nothing to quell the child's fear within days the girl would taste waste away from starvation and dehydration for all good good, good intention the hunters had never learned how to care for a, for a human child you see the tears creeping down under hunters's mouth suddenly the most beautiful singing voice you ever heard filled the air singing sleep my darling tiny one tuck within your bed so tight Else the old grey wolf will come and grab you from your side. You have a brief moment of silence and f you feel you need to contribute with some... Join the singing. He will snatch you up between the, his teeth if you, if your bed edge to sleep and drag you to the forest deep, breath in the quaking tree. Hundreds can't believe you know the song. You shared an intimate glaze across the campfire. You close your eyes and fall asleep. Count the little wool sheep, woolen sheep, tuck you so, you, you so tightly you must keep, or he will come for you. The song ends and you both meet the signs across the fireplace, fire campfire. I love that song, Bashu Bagushka, this old Soviet lullaby rap. It's it is the song my mother used to sing me before bed to bed every night. But now I must go. My memories are too much. On the that note. Aaron decides to take take time. It's time to take a break, a spell for a little bit, so so that they can call, have a moment alone before bed. Everyone leaves you. You're alone in the by the fire. The one the one thing you heard in the ocean slowly lapping against the shore. This is nice. I tr I don't think. Oh yeah, this is the same thing. Hundreds approaches you. Of course, you like my story. You weren't. You who wouldn't? It had everything: cute kids, dead men, huntress. I find that all stories are better with the sound of burning fires filling the air surrounding you. All the smoke 
possible. However, I, I couldn't do without. It's quite eat. It's rather eat barbecue than smell it. Let's raise rise off all the campfire with a dip in the hot tub, shall we? A dip in the hot Yeah, okay. Right. Um, you and your storyteller friend slipped into the water. It's just the right temperature for an evening dip. Plus, if some jealous shark comes along, they manage to. Oh, yeah, this is the same as last time. Before you run off, I want to make something clear. You know the half woman, half beast I was talking about in my story. That's me. I'm her. No way! How no way! How cool! That really is awesome. Thanks for being vulnerable and telling such a personal story. Hunter's flock shyly swirls her hair. Tell, tell the truth. What did you think of my tale? Do you, do I have, the making of a best storyteller author, such as the comedic mastermind. I don't know Dodokovic Dodokovsky. It was really well t told narratively, clearly begin beginning, middle, and end. Riffing from the start, plus the woman in the forest, I mean you, are clearly not a, tr a true villain. You were just trauma a traumatized child. Okay, now you're just being a suck-up. Hunter's eyes lit at you from behind her mask. She had her time in the spotlight and pl she is playing coy now. I don't want to awkwardly chuckle because it, it might be rude. That's a pity trying to story told trope. Fuck! Well, hundreds have learned new things, but n not that you don't have to be rude about it. Never insult a killer storyteller. Try again. Fuck. Okay. Alright, well, I just. You chuckle awkwardly at the hunter's statement. It's, it's so obvious. Why are you laughing? I can't help but giggle when I'm. I'm both about to die and also maybe fall in love in love. You can't believe how awkward this in intimidating woman seems right now. It's actually pretty endearing. You notice the temperature has dropped significantly depend despite your steamy company. It's it's a little chilly and I and your and your bare shoulders must be freezing. Let's head back to the fire and put me to bed. I hate to intrude, but time for bed. But after a, a, a day like today, I'm pretty tuckered out. Well, I will see you tomorrow, bearable. If only do, if I don't see you first. You make a cute bow motion. Hunter just catches your, your imagination of arrow and shoots her in tooth and then bites down hard, stepping it in half. At least you think that's what she's doing. Kind of hard to tell. Good night, my little snack. I'm sure that wasn't a reference to actually eating you. I hope not. 
Yep. Okay. Let's skip. Let's skip all this. Oh, I don't. Oh, okay. I don't remember this mini game. As a pl as Listen to more, because I desire. Let's do it all. All right, so let's keep continue. I'm just. Are you around? I was wondering if if I could get you a, a little company. <coughs> How she appears instantly. You didn't hear her coming. She's more happy happy to tell you t her secret for falling asleep when she feeling restless. Ooh. It's a, it's a Soviet lullaby. doesn't work, but special mushroom tea has always done the trick when I'm not coating, coating the blade of my hatchet in the uh, easy and passing of victims it deepens in the pipe hot water or mug of water try it cozy I you do we should get out of here I know a place it's quite it's quite out and out of the way no one will be able to hunt us I mean hear us there does doesn't that sound intriguing but but intimidating a flood of worry but flood of your brain should you pack a picnic bring a swimsuit a pocket knife you decide to bring such much as you can you have to make a run for it if some point you should be prepared but for of course you w wash your hands on the on the, his island with nothing but, okay you look up at the towering goddess trying to form a sentence when you suddenly before you can decide if you want to go with her spirit interjects you really think you're gonna have fun with her all the running around the wrestling and you like like in the clever double entendre but actually physical wrestling i'm ex exhausted just describing things about it listen if you what listen you kind of weird and i'm kind of weird and i'm like i don't know i thought maybe you, you want to sit and ignore the whole world together f for a while nice choice okay Sorry, I'm going with Huntress. I gotta go with Huntress. Wee. I gotta lie, she's kind of a bit. You and Huntress make your way to a secluded beach house. You heart thumped in your chest. You don't look up thump in real words, I swear. Are these nerves you excited or oh, something of t all terror? Isn't it fun to mix the sexy with the horrific? Horrifying. Hundred is quiet as a mouse as she guides you through the the island forest. You struggling to keep up with her. She moves like a jungle cat, all the muscles and sudden leaps across her th thorny bush. She hails suddenly, and you crash into her, having been sort of trying to keep up. You follow her gaze, and you realize that you arrive a cabin in the woods, objectively in near all the horror films and stories. And you come to the willing, come here willingly with a fearsome killer. Great job. The cabin is cozy, but something seems a bit off about it you can quite be 
I can't quite put my finger on it. This Hunter stares at you, though she through the bunny mask, coying her head to her side as she tries to gape your reaction to the hideaway. Are you inviting me inside? What? Do you need an invitation? You are you, are you a vampire? <laughs> no. Oh. It's just me, or is Huntress seems a little disappointed. Didn't peg her for a lover of a fang, but hey, don't don't judge. Come in, let's explore. You follow her inside. It's creepy, pricky, and definitely not up to code, but it's it has a certain homey charm. Quite, you're quite the decorator. She blushes in, intently. It, she is, as her chana made her bone hang delight from the foyer ceiling and a collection of trinkets line from metal. Something tells you that the people who once owned this, these things are not of this mortal coil anymore. Could you be Huntress' next victim? The thought gives you a wicked th thrill. Hey, she's looking at you again. What do, what do you think of my collection? I, could I certainly learn to like these? The whole place is quite... I, I knew you like it like it here. You have the eye of someone who appreciates fi fine stolen things. I can't wait to get, go treasure hunting with you. We could find so more goodies on the island. But first, what would you you th think of the other killers on the island? I mean, Trickster, I'm pretty out there, but everyone else seems to like their have interesting backstories and whatnot. You gossip her, a little gossiper. Why? What are you playing at, bearable? Hunters considers this f for for a bit. She seems to have two modes, though she, forthal and explosive. You hope you never be in the splash show when she explodes part emerges. Why are you jealous? Before you answer, her whole house began to shake. Hundred loosens her balance and on the dimples infection the floor falls into your arms. You are not mad about it, but before you have time to enjoy it, Take that in the moment. Oh, oh, oh no! It's a crab attack. A horde of killer crabs invade through the the crevice in poorly constructed cavern. The race, they raced at you and hundreds. Swarm lack their razor sharp claws. You must act quickly. What would you do? Uh, shield Huntress. You step in front of Huntress, prepare to use your body as a shield for her move the onslaught and the, and the cabbage. Let, I'll save you, Huntress. Oof. Huntress may take my, ta my take care of herself. Hey, say some some fun for me. Hunters are many but uh, I think I might have fucked up. There's a many but immediately between you and the crabs <laughs> for splitting the crab Hunter sits down with a wicker couch and begins to clear, clear the guts of the hatchet. It's an ob obliged scene for a killer but this happy to just happy to not source with what her wife of looking like she gr have crab for dinner she doesn't smile at, a jo at your joke she is pouring look 
I want to look on her face again. You join her on the couch. Man, something that is near dead experience really gets me thinking about what I want in life. I, th I think I really like to start a family one day. How about it? Of course. Because I love kids. I would love to, to be a parent one day. Hunter smiles. I love my dear mother so much. I can't wait to have have that sort of special relation with my daughter one day. Teach her everything I know. And I won't be ki killed by some horrible elk. What were you what were you like as a kid? You try to imagine a gigantic gigantic this a meek child with a buff coat wandering about, about in the forest. Andres juggles it, her laughter quite cute and soft. I was so innocent that we hunted to, to survive. Then when went back to the cottage and my mother would tell me stories and we drink tea and imagine a life of far away from the woods somewhere like this. I suppose I finally achieved what she always wanted from me. But since coming here, sometimes fe feeling off... A it's a beautiful warmth of everyone's so attractive attraction, like a, a thirst a thirst trap glory. But don't get the feeling that someone is coming for you. Us, I know she, I know she's into you, but into about what swelling memories rushing through their head, nightmares, visions of dark clouds, Claudette and Dwight. Quick. Vela, totally. I think you on something, on something. What do you know? How long have you been, been here? Do you remember anything at all about why, why, why we might be? I've been having this, these dreams, seeing things, and think we all serve some greater purpose here. Under reveals a strange object, and she stole from a nearby stage where Trexler performed. It had some strange symbol on it. A bottle. Truly, it doesn't seem that strange to you. It's just a glass bottle. However, the label is interesting. She hands it over to you before she can explain the theory. Claudia and Dwight interrupt. Alright. 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 We gotta skip. I admit, I'm, I'm, uh, as if that life isn't for me, bro. I'm very impressed you speak, you can speak without applying a quote. Very good. This guy is totally douche nozzle. Try hard much. He must like to turn. I. Right. Patrick ba Bateman. With a huge chip on his shoulder. You should, should, shouldn't go with him. If we're brash dishing a cleaver at you. Oh shit he is. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm quite. I'm into a quiet lifestyle. I, I rest my dependent independence and don't need someone to wipe my butt for me. You run back the huge arms of hundreds. She hugs you tightly, so tightly that you think you feel life leaving your body at this moment, but it hurts so good. You know what? I'm impressed you stood up to me. I appreciate someone who gives me their total honesty opinion, even if the opinion makes me want to carve out your liver. And the, that bite wiping comment, that's not what I meant by cleaning up after you, but I'm hiring someone to do the, that for me, and that was the moment I get home. Chevrolet's in 10 to 100s walks slowly, motion back into the water. 
it's pretty weird she's he gonna stay late in all night shall we continue our date 100 leads you back to the cabin though through remember the horrors the complete change nothing is familiar better not get lost out here can you believe that guy classic Trevor pulling a move like that I'm glad you choose me though I don't think we've explored all there's between us yet she winks a bunny mask across eyes scooping you and her back on her back Hunter runs through the woods with a with you piggyback riding her the wind rushes through your hair animals clear the path my the mighty wood woman as she races by like le leads from the famous teeth vampirish drama in w that one scene where he called a spider her a spider monkey hunters doesn't call you that Wee Eventually she gently lowers you to the ground and you take her taking your surroundings a wooden clearance in the forest hunters Passes about like a deer in a meadow. I like to come here sometimes to clear my head and hack up a few cute woodland creatures. Foxes are my favorite to slaughter. They think they are so cute. I think they're so cute and sly, but I see the right right through them. They're just assholes. Great for hot sauce. Hundreds heard a rushing and darted off and find at the source, crashing down a low and an, low like an animal. Now you're alone in the middle of the forest. Which way do you, did you come from again? No idea. Your sense of direction is off. Um, maleficent voice flows through your the air, landing upon your ears. Uh, sir, like syrup honey. Come and find me. Okay. Oh god, okay. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. You completely missed. I don't even know. You completely missed. Oh fuck, okay. Completely missed. Darn it. That was so fun. That was so fun. You're so good at hiding. I'm ha I'm having the r a real blast. Thanks. They say it takes 10,000 hours to practice get, to get this good at something. Hey, they do say that. That was fun, huh? I keep trying to relax and have a good time, but that's really hard for me. Anyway, anytime I let uh, let my guard down, something terrible happens. I'm gonna say like what, like what? Sometimes I find young girls in the woods, little perfect angels that need my protection. But if I turn my back for a moment, they wind up dying. That's got that got dark, but you're feeling, feel, feel, feel like Huntress would admire this, this to just anyone. Oh look, Claudia made it back. Okay, go Huntress. Huntress, you seem really ready to go. Let's see what you from you. Sure thing. All right, my neck of the woods isn't. Waiting for horror of mythology, mother once told me the story of a young man who, who was traveling back home after the war. Which war? Doesn't matter. Just, I just want some backstory details to paint a picture. I'll paint you a picture if you want. The man was lost, running out of food ration he stopped to rest for 
underneath the majestic birch tree. That's when she, he saw the woman naked skin glistening in the, the, the twilight glow. Hot, and I'm invested. They sang a haunted melody at they made their way downwards towards the, the inviting lake. Enchanted by the music, the young man followed the paradise, parade of beautiful women until he stopped and uh, clear next to the water, clear next to the water, they turned to sh th turn at him and smiled. One woman with long red hair stepped towards and reached for his hand. The other began to play music, flutes, lutes, trombones. The melody was intoxicating. The, this ma the man feet began to move, breathing. Berberman, he he was dancing, moving by his, his man, with magical music of mysterious woman, twilight dark dark into the night, and the man grew weary. But when he tried to the storm of his feet, found that he, he could not. Well, I cannot stop dancing, he cried to the near, nearest woman. A slender woman with green hair. She drew near to him, and he wa saw the features distorted into something horrific. She was bloated, and eyes hanging from her eye one socket. Skin color was algae in Roscoe. Her true self. You never stop dancing. She screamed at him. My sister and I were drowned in this lake by men for of consider you, you, this your punishment the man cried out but it wasn't me someone must pay and Roscoe said here voices filling the brim I don't know what that word is and so the man danced and danced until his bones broke and his heart gave out the dance of death a solemn beat as everyone takes, but it's not all bad. Roscoe, uh, also fierce goddesses, if a lady had stumbled across them, she would have been blessed with a fruitful womb and probably some candy for the road. Then does she really think that ha that's a happy ending? I wonder what Huntress is, is having. Alright. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's get past this because we've done, we, we've done all this dialogue before. Huntress. Huntress. You know I have the feeling you're going to pick me. you got good taste. Are you dating them all? I've done I done Trapper and now I'm doing Huntress. Is it is it the Got a good toast and I don't just say that because I'm concerned eating you. Hunter licks her lips and she tr her eyes open eyes up at you and down. You feel feel like a literal piece of meat this mu much in your life before. What have you got a gotten yourself into let's go over to by the bar i'm going to make you some special Ooh. you and hunters whisk yourself away to the bar and when you arrive you find an arrange of arts arts and craft supplies and and are those tapestry tools cool 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 and you freaked out i'm not freaking out Wonder what is going through Huntress's head, through her bubbly enthusiasm. You always terrified. Oh, she might snap. Something on your mind? She smiles. Drink this. Ooh. Huntress hands you a, a seamless, normal tropical cocktail. If 
one of the you drunk into some sort of which is you can you, you could be operated on this flavor could certainly be had in of the poison but look around you consider what else here to live for besides from Huntress little toys and conclusion is bombs away you pound the drink it's quite nice I've been thinking about making you a present a mask would you would you be would you be into that yes of course I have always admired yours what would you like Mm, a rabbit mask a rabbit mask one just like yours please well that's not very very creative is it Hunter is annoyed but then her face lights up oh wait that's a brilliant this, this is brilliant we can use this as that little advantage like there's two of us we can attack from both sides yes exactly that's what I was thinking well, I don't. I know what I'm going to be working on tonight. All along, I'm skipping, skippy, in my skippy pajamas. I just winks at you. Shall we just get out of here? The strings are making me sleepy. Should we just like get out of here? Maybe go directly into bed. No, that's not tonight, guys. Okay, cookie kids. Soon. Huntress has a lot of hobbies. Okay. Making more gl masks or making matching gloves. No, you little, j no, you little joker. I'm thinking of different types of making our victims die fast. Me me Medium or slow devs depends on the mood I'm in. Okay, doing something is different place entirely. I might have fucked up there. I might have fucked up there. I'm talking about a logical of mushrooms picking from a lot and very sim familiar with which ones makes a great s s soup base. Uh, super make super dead. I'll show you two mushrooms. You point out and say to eat. Okay, sounds sounds e easy enough. That mm. <coughs> oops, a little fella. And you're eating one. If you eat the diarrhea doesn't kill you, the liver failure probably will. Next up is very easy. I'm sure you nail it at this point point at the one it won't result in instant death if you eat it uh, that one Roro you must you mustn't eat it as deadly parents which is name from adorable well deadly adorable and deadly you you know like that final question which will make you jump for joy and which will make you vomit until you die. Oh fuck! I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I guess that one. Oh jeez, I'm sorry, hun. This that is our destroying angel. It is confusing with the white grant angel, which is you might imagine seeing who uh, listening you. Oh what? That was fun, right? I I like flexing a little more than just biceps for you. All right, let's see. Let's let's see here. Elaborate your answers, Anne. Let's hope you hunt better than you forage, because you're bad at foraging. Very bad. Get us all killed, bad. i will just clap her hands and giggles. I'm I appreciate you spending time with me tonight. I know the other killers are very alert with their own ways. It means a lot that you spend time with a, a forest punk, forest bunkin such as myself. 
You know that, kid. You know, Buggin, you're a strong, independent woman. Don't depend, don't demean yourself. Hunches leans, leers at you, knife at your throat. I demand myself, I demean myself if I want to. She's anger, she's angry, but also turned on. This is pretty hot. We, we, typical type. Ah, that's over. All right, so we now we've gone the final date. All righty. You turn to hundred, and she looks more appealing. Her gray skirt ruffles behind her, and light and morning breeze. A seagull lands on her shoulder. She she's a breach of cartoon prison. She snaps in the seagull's neck and stuffs it into her under her flowery dress, probably saving it for lunch. Sigh. She can't help but hurt. As I choose you, let's spend the day together uh, <coughs> and see if we think a future is possible for our love. Really, Hunters throws her hands in the air like a bear and go and gallop you to gallop towards you at first you th think she might swing with the gigantic arms knocking your life out of you instead you she scooped you in into a hug and take you to her side and she stuck her tongue out all the other killers something like an intimidating move is the right one Okay. Andres it just leads you to the yacht to begin the romantic day together. You admire warm salt in the air on your skin, the sound of crashing waves. It's pr this is perfect warning. Just you and Huntress. Hey cuties. Oh, ocean's here too. Did you? Did you know that tipping the, with flesh eating bacteria and eating in its bodies? That, that's the pesky ocean always kills the vibe. You're a turn huntress. I'm sure you're okay on, on the ocean. I know you don't like to be out in the open. Something about being here with you makes me feel safe. You both sit at the beautiful, beautifully seated sit table on the desk of the ta boat, you wipe a, sp a wide spread of mouth-watering breakfast goodies arranged in front of you. Can we get you anything? Um, you look a bit green. I'm extremely seasick. And Trixie replaced all the island drama, drama mine with a party drug, so... Wait, how did he get there? Weren't you you weren't they just on the beach consulting the rejected killers? Are the are there more than two of them? Two, you motion one of them. We'll take we'll take both screwdrivers. Hold the orange juice, of course. Hey, can't you can you play the particular song of us? Set the moon. You, you, you hand Dwight a piece of paper with a song title on it. Sure thing. Doubt Trapper has this in vinyl collection. Soon the haunted melody of Hunter's Mother Lullaby streamed through the stereo system. The boat rocks as the, through the rhythm of the song. Its melody move is quite romantic. Breakfast has never been that this intimidating. You reach out, touch Huntress' hand, and suddenly a loud below scares you. You knock your fresh port, port flute straight into vodka, into a pr pissing desk. It's Trapper. He's screaming at us from the beach. Looks 
how tiny he looks from all this way out here. Hunches, squishes, squints his head between her fingers like a child and giggles. Damn you both, the chair you sit on it is worth more than you lies. Get back here. He's not what he's not wrong. Hey Claudette, take us take us further. Aye aye, Captain. She, she can she drive the boat? Guess we'll find out. Along alone again, nothing but a claw of seagulls and ominous shadow of a, a creature lurking beneath the waves. I have something for you. For me? Hunter reveals a package wrapped in blood, blood and apron, but clamped your hands upon a kid upon their birthday. Her playful attitude is rubbing off on you. I made, I made, I made that mask you asked for. I almost forgot, but I bet you didn't. I bet this is a whole reason why you pursued pursue hunters. I bet definitely to get the mass of your own, not other reasons. Here you go. Hey! It's perfect. You put it on and it fits on your face like a glove. Oh, give me a second. Alright, we'll carry on. But let's on your face like a glove. You gaze at the hunters, though her eyes of the mask is a swell of motion surge through you. One, one has become to rabbit multiply, even in the mask form. Let's go back to my place. She downs her screwdriver. The tension in but as you enter the cabin, you could cut it with a hatchet hee hee give me a break it's three days of ki killer jokes a narrative only can has so much mojo huntress sits on sits down and clutching the, clutching the ta the kitchen table you notice the blood stains that have crept into her nook and cranny of the wood pl planks w what poor creature died on this table did they suffer why would you care if they suffered? Get back into the ocean, ocean. Don't backseat. Oh, I'm just narrowing. Stay here. Don't move a muscle. You or I'll, I'll hear it. I can hear the many but mammals tension creak as they stretch as a gift of curse. I'll be right back. Alone in the cabin. What would you do? What do would you do? Freak out. I'm freaking out. Tell tell someone who cares. Hey. Fine. You call my bluff. I literally have have to listen to you, your problems, or else the damned ocean will give a... What, so what's your the deal? Am I ready for this? I'm as much to get intimidated with an unknown cannibal. She she kills on, co on command and does doesn't even clean the blood off her apron. You mean the Sar fan? She's coming back. How rude. What what's that in her strong, delicate hands? You reach out you reach out for her, longing stroke the blood matting here and scar scrape her I thought we could, could get warm by the fire. Hmm. She wags her fingers at you. A bunnelicious smirk on her face. Not so fast. Remember when I, we talked about, about how there's more going on here? You nod like an idiot. Well, I know, now know there's something up. The, the other night while you were sleeping like a cute little baby, I, I sn snuck into the other killer's lairs and I saw them 
with shiny objects that they've been stealing from me. I think they're connected somehow. Maybe it has to do with the symbols. I'll try. I've tried to go back last night, but something blocks me from picking any of the objects up. Someone or something knows I'm in. I'm I'm into them. I think if you try, I might work. It might work. What What do you say? Will you help me? Hell yes. Hell yes, I will. Love strutting treasures hunt on a on the level of Nicholas Cage masterpiece. You can definitely count on me. Let's go. I'll be your guardian and angel. Never you never know where those other killers might pop up. You grab the hunter you grab Huntress by the hand and we practically trip over your own feet. On the way out the door, it feels good to ha have a quest thriller, thrilling, but the part of the wandering is quickly with Empress Huntress. Soon she'll take you in her jockeying arms and and will swim. Your ch childhood crush Popeye is making making more and more sense. Where you do, where do you want to start? What? You don't understand on holding hands in the forest, clearly the way we in direction closely. Hey, I really love hanging out with you. I think I think I think it's time. It's time, it's time oh okay. I'm ready for this. It's time for you to call me by my real name. Like my mother does. You can call me Anna. Oh yes, of course. I think Anna's a beautiful name. And you're a beautiful person, Anna. Bearable, do you know what I like to do right now with you? Breathing in the moonlight. I feel closer to you than I ever th had before. <coughs> and there's nothing I'd rather do right now than... She evades her eyes, does she? <coughs> mean what she thinks? Nope. She's looking at right and Claudia. Shop up those two fools with you. Absolutely. My hatchet is sharp uh, as I'll, uh, my love for you. Get rid of the blood ready. A gruesome, gruesome scene of hundreds go to town and innocent survivors, but just warn you, won't help you guys out. We were been forced to help you. You can't hear Hun, our uh, count of losing blood in your mouth. Ah, uh, once you've made a quiet mess of the survivors, you and Hunters look at each other with a ma ma manic eyes. Shall we turn to the cabin? Our love gets you out of the bed, bedwear and into something a little less there. Thought you'd never ask. Once inside the cabin, hundreds of strips of her calves revealing the curvy of her body with a muscle bond. You follow her and you kiss a yes and wonder it looks like you're going to bunny mask on for this sissy time. Just for this part is show. You can be sure you in tussle. I love it, dude. Cr dude crushing other dudes, in a in a, in a car cr crusher. Gotta have a hanky panky that can't handle. Leave you horny for kids. <coughs> what just just because Hunter speaks Russian doesn't mean I do. <coughs> I'm speaking French. It's a thing. Look it up. I never. I nervously run my mouth now, just give, giving you to time alone in the dark, maybe. Stop me if you can hear hear this one. Hillbilly doctor and the clown walk into the bar. Fine, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to it. Post doing it, you and Huntress lie together in the warmth of the fire. Everything is perfect. 
Mm-hmm. You imagine Mama has a smile down upon you. You realise that would be pretty gross imagine it, watching that. That was incredible. You telling me. The door of the cabin creaks open. That you, you two are covered with blankets. I oh got this. My severed claw. My, my severed claw was it through the door, leaving a trail of blood away. No, we were walked right in, into the scene from a horror film as the people who have sex, they die. Not when I'm around. Hunters produce a hatchet without a nowhere, and the bed is beaten with your guys. With a wiggling gr- torso of Thordead and Honor following the chop limbs, slowly a piece of their body started to put themselves back together. No way. What the fuck indeed, my friend? You thought that this island would kill let us die permanently? Have you ever played Dead by Daylight? Come on, we have to get to the final scene. I mean, decision. Learned what led you two hunters back to the empty beach. Both of you bask in the glory of the fresh, fresh, being freshly laid. The sound of terrible doesn't so like laundry detergent. Freshly laid, actually maybe that's a that's good. It'll I'll get my agent to start giving me that. The island is strangely quiet. No sacri- no satisfying remarks. Discussing a broke young woman from the spirit. No strange wide stare, or socially awkward rave. No threats and intimidation violence of from Trapper. Even even Claudia a lip t- a tight lip. They seem almost zombified. Last day of a beautiful piece of meat. You done well. We almost ha- at the finish line. Did you think I brought you all the way through? Okay. Well, did uh, I can't wait any longer. I pawned the circum the circumstances of. In the, uh, you telling me, stick to the script. So, Hunters, do you feel about the newcomer? Are you thinking of murder of a little heart? Murder of a little heart ever, ever long for long before? Hunter stares at you down and at the moment. She steps towards you. My dear, I think this is true love. Come with me through the red forest. Let us hunt the, the woods together and have a family of brushing with babies. We raise them as fierce warriors. Who can d- d- defend their family and home? Just in just a matter of days, you've got a b- gone from being completely al- alone to being starting a clan of warriors. I didn't see that coming. Race slowly, clear. No one joined in. Typical. Whatever. Love is constant. Made of a greeting cards and entry. I'm out of here. Spirit floats back to the black lighthouse. You look behind you at its trapper. Hundred, you, you beasted me. Bested me. He turns at you and offers a lever hand of a handshake. Congratulations, bearable. I don't shake hands with losers. I bet I both shut up and smile. Did he not seem that one coming? You're all right, kid. I mean, I hate you completely. I want to kill you, you mercilessly, but you're alright. But wait. You haven't said anything to Huntress. I love you too. Yes, let's move into the Red Forest immediately. Are 12 kids too many? Mimi in the comedy, who cares? Your heart overflows with joy, and you and Hunter embrace. Missing the whole life of a woman with shoulders the size of mountains who won't take off the bloody mask even during the intimate times. Yes, yes, a thousand times, yes. You start, you stare into the sunset as pictures of 
Life to give a happiness is real. Hey, oh, yo. How you doing? Huntress lifts her mask and finally lay your eyes on her. Both taking natural beauty. You know, you know the cabin I grew up in doesn't have a um, uh, luxury new beach house he has. I'm using to live as a beast, bathing in the river, running the, running the wild through my my bushes. Well, telling you this, Huntress Leap has left her, her bathing suit behind and into into the into. And enters into the jungle. Have you, you haven't lived until you've been, been out with nature. Roar. You chase Hunter into the woods, leaving your bathing suit behind. Yo, I got a good ending. We fucked.